Very good morning to all the children. Beta, we are going to revise this chapter in the Kingdom of Fools from another book, Moments. Fine, in the revision test two, only two chapters are left to be revised now. This one and one more is there. Happy Princess left that we will do tomorrow. Okay, after this, again, I will share MCQ screen so you can uh, attempt the questions accordingly. So in the Kingdom of Fools, first of all, the characters which we are having. First of all, first of all, the, in the chapter when they arrive, king and his minister. So we have king, we have his minister or ministers also maybe more than one. Then uh, guru and his disciple was there. Now, a lot of characters, a lot of characters in this chapter. First of all, uh, now we will be starting that hierarchy upon whom that blame went. Merchant was there. Burglar was there. Just ne chori ki thi. Yaad hai ki nahi? Burglar, the person who sneaks into the house. Then we have merchant, rich merchant. They have used the word rich merchant for him. Then after that, blame goes to bricklayer or mason, you can say. Bricklayer is not a designation or a name, but they have used this. That's why I'm writing. Okay, I'll be writing on this side. I will be writing here. Duster guy. Bricklayer is mentioned. Yes, Divya. Next. Then Bricklayer was saying that dancing girl was responsible. So then we have dancing girl. Then driller. She gives responsibility of this thing on a driller. And then again, uh, no, no more character because Yes. Can you speak loudly? King. King is written. Which king now? Merchant got the responsibility at the end finally. Na? So, yeah. Seventh is brick layer. Actually, Mason ke upar responsibility thi, but they have used this word. Okay, let me uh, introduce the characters. First of all, we have King and his ministers, then Guru and his disciple. They all together will be conversing with each other. Guru and disciple, then burglar is that thief who will be doing burglary or thievery into the house of rich merchant. Fine. Yes, Aryan, you can tell the names if any, anything is left. Can you name it, Aryan, if you are saying it? You can type, I'm seeing it. Yes, one more merchant's father and then rich merchant is there and bricklayer mason. You can say the person who is responsible for making houses and all, erecting walls, and then dancing girl, thief's brother. Yes, but they are minor characters. Yes, we can write minor characters at the end. Thank you, Aryan, for giving the reminder for that. Thief's brother was there. Then merchant's father. They are the minor characters. Yes, beta, what is it? No, 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 no. I have written so many big capital letters. Go there. You have to skip one row. So let's write some points about this chapter. Uh, in the beginning, we get to know that king and ministers, 
they were idiots fine before starting the chap chapter or the summary or and all just let me tell you what is the theme of this chapter you know all the people do not have that knowledge fine many of the people they are wise but there are some people who are foolish also fine so in this chapter wisdom is a blessing by god if you have brain and you are applying your brain it's a blessing clear so in this we will be reading about two foolish people king and his minister those who will be taking stupid decisions just for the sake of taking because they have the authority so this chapter is a satire on the people those who have power to change the world but they change just for the creating a change when there is no need to change even then they are making changes so that result will lead to something bad but then some wise people like guru is representing those people of wisdom disciple is there he also we can a disciple can be considered foolish also because he did not follow his guru firstly he was following king and his ministers only later on after committing stupid mistake then he realizes that yes whatever my guru is saying is right clear so this is foolish people versus wise people but wisdom wins at the end of the day this is the theme of the chapter clear so blessing is a wisdom is a blessing foolishness is a curse chaliye let's start now uh, king and his ministers both were idiots fine and they thought let's change something and they thought of changing the rule which is made by god actually so they interfered into that they uh, announced that day will be treated as night night will be treated as day so you can just write point day arrow night clear ye jo value points aapne banane hain that is for your revision in that way don't write complete sentence day into night night into day in that way so that was the change yes bridges aise nahi beta bolna so they made the first change was day will be converted into night night will be converted into day second rule uh second rule they change that everything uh, will be uh, sold at same unit or same price what was that unit one dadu fine so what was the currency one dadu will be there unit clear then uske baad that was the rule formed anybody then they announced anybody who will be violating this okay it will be dd okay twice one dadu so uh, everything will be given at one unit and everyone anyone who will be violating this rule will be punished or sentenced to death that was also announced the king and the minister were very happy after this that they were very delighted ki okay we have made something we have done something but king and uh, one day what happened these two people guru and disciple they used to visit various cities they happened to enter this kingdom of fools the kingdom of your king and ministers are reigning so they were amazed when they entered in the broad daylight they could see no one fine they were thinking that what is even the animals were trained to sleep during the day so they were amazed to see that what is this scenario in the daylight nobody all the shops are closed everybody sleep there is no commotion no movement suddenly when day started ending in the evening or in the late evening everybody started opening the shops animals also woke up people started moving out of the houses so then uh he realized the guru and his disciple they realized that okay this is something different here they were very hungry but surprised also and when they wanted to buy anything from the people when they woke up at night they found that every single thing was sold at one single unit 
fine so they were having money they purchased they ate a lot they were so hungry especially the disciple one of them was guru and the other was disciple guru realized something is you know bad here he felt that people are reacting foolishly sleeping during the day waking up at night and everything get one to do this place is not meant to be lived for me at least so he decided to leave the place fine he thought that i won't be leaving living here and he suggested same to his disciple but disciple was not ready to leave the place he became greedy he thought if such a place is a very good thing for me i will be paying very less and eating a lot he was you know kind of a fellow who loves eating so guru left disciple remained there to enjoy and then that is it the one part or one leg of the story is finished fine one part of the story is done then story shifts to another incident clear first incident clear ho gaya guru has left after even enjoying a day or uh, i witnessing a day disciple remained in the kingdom of fools ab yahan se story second part start ho raha hai one day in the same kingdom of fools a burglary occurred a thievery was committed by a burglar ek chor ne chori ki kahan pe ki at the house of rich merchant ek vyapari tha ek merchant tha he was very rich yes beta am i audible to all in between i am asking online children fine so uh one of them then what happened that in incident of night burglary and that burglar died there when he was after burglary when he was about to sneak away from the place there was a crumbling wall jo pehle hi crumbled thi it fell on the burglar and burglar died on the spot fine and everybody in the neighborhood got to know okay this burglar is dead now and incident was investigated and king was informed about this that this has happened to the rich merchant at the rich merchant's house so this incident when investigated finally rich merchant was uh, held responsible and he was called by the king king said because the crumbling wall belong to rich merchant's house so i should call him right so he was called at the first place rich merchant thought and thought and said my dear majesty i am not responsible for this thing who is responsible the person who has the mason or the bricklayer who is who has made that wall he is responsible and many years ago the house was built obviously the brick layer or the mason he has grown old very older with the passage of time so he was brought he was brought by carrying properly he was not able to walk properly when he was taken there at king's palace he says you built the wall he said yes so you are responsible for the burglar's death he said no when i was uh, laying the bricks at that time a dancing girl was moving up and down in the street which distracted me and i made a wall which is not perfect so dancing girl was called that girl is not a dancing girl anymore she is an old woman obviously after so many years so dancing girl she came that old woman said that i was moving up and down in the streets because i had given what she had given a jewelry to be made at the jeweler's shop and goldsmith you can say so that jeweler or goldsmith he gave he was not giving my jewelry because he was already preoccupied with some bulky order of some rich merchant fine so sara dobara se ghoom ke circle kahan pe aa gaya rich merchant ke upar because rich merchants uh, house they had given some order to the that uh, goldsmith fine so thief's brother he wanted justice anyhow thief's brother was saying my brother is dead i want justice chahe uska brother chori tha fine 
and then he says my merchant's father is responsible merchant says my father made this uh, order to goldsmith so he is responsible man mujhe to pata hi nahi uske bare mein but merchant's father is no more now so who will be given punishment merchant at himself so the whole story goes on and on the blame game was going on finally the blame comes to rich merchant finally so they decided that they will be making a stake and death order was given for the rich merchant and when stake was built that place where uh, they give hanging till death a stake was organized and news was aryan beta i am talking about when sentence death sentence is given jo fancy hoti hai so proper a platform is built a stake is built news is set up wo fancy ka fanda jo hota hai so proper settings are done so whatever they made this they made a stake but that place where a person was supposed to be standing that did not fit rich merchant's body so rich merchant was not suitable for that stake he did not fit the stake for execution fine so therefore the king asked his men so you can very well imagine kaisa king hai ye after so many discussions after so many false allegations false allegation maybe fir rich merchant ko pakda jiske ghar pe chori hui thi and if he did not fit the stake he gave orders to his men that kisi ko to maarna hi padega this is the way to take decision this is actually a satire on the people who take decisions foolishly bina dimag lagaye when we do not apply our brains we will always take wrong decision so this king says that uh what is he say he says okay someone is to be hanged so all my ministers find out a person who is tall and fat enough to fit the stake they kept on searching and searching and searching ab bari aa gayi part 1 ki dobara disciple you remember in the beginning guru said that you should not stay here in the kingdom of fools but disciple said as he loved eating he ate like anything fine he became hugely fat fine and he used to eat a lot and finally they found soldiers immediately took the disciple for the execution wo kha kha ke itna zyada mota ho chuka tha that he was able to fill that stake so he was taken by the men of a king to the stake and both they were about to hang him disciple prayed to his guru immediately and guru as you know he was having some powers <coughs> he realized that my disciple is in danger he came over there to help his disciple even his disciple did not follow him fir bhi wo sacha guru tha wo wapas aaya and disciple when he saw guru had an idea he said something in the ear of his disciple disciple said okay fine so when king was about to give some death sentence to disciple guru started saying give me the death sentence first disciple started saying no let me die first i should be at stake guru said i will be at stake disciple started fighting king got confused why they are fighting to die first he said kuch to baat hogi agar ye guru bhi aise bol raha so you know foolish people they always have stupid doubts so guru said okay i will tell you but you give me a promise if i will tell you this thing the secret why i want to die you will let me die first and my disciple second he said okay fine i give the promise so he tells him that whosoever will be dying first will be the next king in this province and who will be dying second will be the minister in the next birth that's why i want to die first ki main pehle marunga to i will be the king first in the next birth king thought okay this is the reason and he procrastinated the death sentence procrastinated means delay kar dena he said okay i procrastinate this process in the meanwhile he discussed everything with the minister minister was also a foolish man both of them decided that we will be 
uh, king will be dying first and minister will be they changed their clothes into a layman's clothes they changed their kings and ministers dress and on the other hand they gave order to the ministers also uh, other ministers that aaj raat ko hi death sentence ho jana chahiye and they were not knowing ki wo apne king aur minister ko hi maar rahe so they changed and the appearance and in the morning when people came and saw the dead bodies of king and minister they were shocked that how come fine that this has happened but they were happy also why they were happy finally they got rid of the autocracy rule of foolish people so when guru and disciple wanted to go people or ministers of the uh, province they requested guru to be his king and disciple to be minister so guru said okay pehle guru nahi mana but finally when he got uh, insisted by people he said okay firstly i will रीचेंज द लॉज विच यूर किंग मेड तो अगेन सेट की नेचर का जो लॉ है डे विल बी कंसिडर्ड डे नाइट विल बी कंसिडर्ड नाइट एवरी थिंग विल हैव इट्स ऑन कॉस रादर देन वन डू सिंगल यूनिट दिस इज द नेचर लॉ वी कैन नॉट यू नो इंटरफियर इन टू द गॉड गिवन लिनियज सो एवरीबडी वॉज सो हैपी एंड फाइनली देर वर चेंजेस एंड एट द एंड विजडम विंस गुरु ने ऐसे इसलिए नहीं किया था कि वो किंग बन जाए ही वॉज जस्ट डूइंग वट वॉज राइट एट द मोमेंट क्लियर ऑनलाइन चिल्ड्रन इज इट क्लियर टू यू ऑन ऑनलाइन चिल्ड्रन आई सेड ओके फाइन लेट मी शेयर द स्क्रीन इन द किंगडम ऑफ फूल्स हु वॉज मेड the new king after the previous king's execution ha huh, the guru it was decided to hang the disciple in place of the merchant because he was real culprit he had not followed his guru's advice he was living in town illegally he was fat enough to fit the stake ये सारे क्वेश्चन सबको आते हैं इसलिए मैं सबको चांस नहीं दे रही हूँ यू नो दैट जब बॉट अफ आएगा देन आई विल आस्क यू टू स्टॉप द किंग सेड वी हैव टाइम बेटा सेवन मिनट द किंग सेड दैट द मर्चेंट हैड इनहेरिटेड डैश हिज फादर्स रिचेज हिज फादर्स सेंस हिज फादर्स रिचेज एज वेल एज सेंस नन ऑफ दी अब Yes, वो कहते हैं कि अगर रिचेज इनहेरिट किए हैं तो सिंध भी उसने इनहेरिट किए बहुत हार करे द ब्रिक लेयर यस दिस इज द वर्ड दे हैव यूज्ड ब्रिक लेयर सेड ही कुड नॉट बिल्ड द वॉल राइट बिकॉज अ डांसिंग गर्ल केप्ट लुकिंग एट हिम ऑल डे अ डांसिंग गर्ल केप्ट टॉकिंग टू हिम ऑल डे अ डांसिंग गर्ल केप्ट गोइंग अप एंड डाउन द स्ट्रीट ही कुड नॉट कीप हिज आईज एंड माइंड ऑन द वॉल ड्यू टू जिंगलिंग एंकलेट्स ऑफ अ डांसिंग गर्ल who kept going up and down the street all day okay online children what is your answer offline kids have given online children raise your hand i will unmute you give the answer to question number 4 very easy a chance is given to you but you never raise your hand pritiksha is not joining the class these days is she okay arush yes beta mam c part c yes ma'am okay karanveer what's your option beta ma'am option c let me show you the answer now beta option d is the correct usne kaha tha that dancing girl keeps up and down in the street that is correct but because of the jingling sound of the anklet she was wearing usne usko distract kiya tha so answer d is the correct answer the merchant told next question number 5 the merchant told the king that his name was such and such so and such such and so so and so yes See, this is a question I never expected even such and such. This is mentioned in the book, so they can 
ask anything from the book you cannot challenge it such and such yes you were right who did the brick layer hold responsible for making a weak wall brick layer same students are raising hand baki ke bacche kya kar rahe hain 20 students are there online dancing girl is the answer yes this is very easy who was summoned next to the rich merchant yes dhyan se sunna hai theek hai brick layer ko bulaya tha uske baad correct answer who did the king summon for the first time yes the merchant is the correct answer after the thief's death who ran to the king for justice yes karan we answer this yes beta you can unmute the thief brother yes the thief's brother is the correct answer you can see the answer also fine so this is nice they have given answers so after the question i can disclose in whose house did the thief break into ha isme to aapko options bhi nahi chahiye what was the disciples opinion about living there he wanted to live there and enjoy good he did not want to live there and cheap food he was afraid of the fools he all the options are correct he wanted to live there and enjoy good and cheap food disciple wanted to live there na guru thodi chahta tha rehna <coughs> what did everything cost in the kingdom of fools wahan pe a dadu likhe 2 5 10 so a is the answer who reached in the kingdom of fools yes in kingdom of fools when did people sleep during the day what did the king and minister decide to do they decided to give money to everyone they decided to change the day into night and night into day they decided to change their capital they decided to punish all the wise men yes ji you can answer beta B option. They decided to change the day into night and night into day. Fine. This is the correct answer. According to the guru, whose behavior is unpredictable. Option. Suni hai. King, people, foolish people, disciples. Foolish people. तो बिना options के answer दे देते हो ब्रजेश. क्यों दे सकते हो ऑन दी वॉट कंडीशन डिट गुरु अग्री टू बी द नेक्स्ट किंग इफ डिसाइपल वुड बी ए मिनिस्टर इफ ही कुड ऑर्डर विदाउट थिंकिंग इफ ओल्ड लॉज आर चेंज नन ये सी ऑप्शन सोमिया क्या हो गया आई यू के बोरिंग लग रहा है बस दो मिनट रह गए वन मिनट नहीं why did the king and his ministers decide to go for the sake themselves people's words guru's cunning words man's flight because of guru's words and they agreed to take the benefit themselves because of guru's words sare easy hai itna ko tough nahi hai isme okay bell is gone okay beta have a nice day i'm going to end the meet